Welcome to Chapter 6, Lesson 2, where we will practice in-depth title building. We're going to go through each detail slowly because we want you to understand. So if you remember in our last few chapters, we were researching for the digital meat thermometers. So we're going to practice title building with this item due to the fact that we already did market research with this item and how to source it from our suppliers. As you can see, we are in the product research page of Zeek Analytics. So if you remember, after looking at the stats, we scroll down to the product list. And here we evaluated a few of the items based on the amount of feedback for each seller, the number of sales, the photo, the title, as well as the price. And then we came across this item here. If you remember, the seller had a low feedback score, high sales, and the price was a little bit higher than the rest of these digital thermometers that we're selling. After we found this item, we clicked on the title and it opened it up on eBay. Here we went through the photos to get information. We also looked into the title, the price, and then we scroll down to the bottom to get item specifications as well as other information here about the product. And for this example and for this product, we use AliExpress as our supplier. Once we opened up the product with AliExpress, we also searched for information, the title, the price, as well as the shipping price. We also looked at the item description with our supplier and compared it to the item that is selling on eBay. And if you remember, we found a match. So now that we've refreshed our memory a bit, let's talk about how to build the title. It's important to know that you should not invest too much time in building a title. It's very important you build a good title, but build it fast. So now looking at the title of this product that we chose in this video and our previous videos, you can see that the title is LCD Digital Thermometer Meat Barbecue Cooking Food Oven Grill Temperature with Probe US. So now let's examine this title. The keywords digital thermometer meat. They're kind of in between generic and long tail keywords because they have three words. Now, if you remember from our previous lesson, generic keywords are made up of one word or two words. Long tail keywords are made up of two or more words. So digital thermometer meat is between generic and long tail. LCD digital thermometer meat barbecue. Those are long tail keywords and they are very specific. And then we also have other keywords such as cooking, food, oven, grill, which tells you that you can use this indoors as well as outdoors. And these keywords are actually describing the item and they're most likely less searched than digital meat thermometer. But it's also possible that someone might write digital thermometer for barbecue or for grill. So if those certain words describe your item, you should have them in your title. So now that we've evaluated the title for the item that we have chosen, it's also very important to go through all of the other titles just to see if there are any repeating words that you can use as well when selling your item on eBay. So here looking at the first two items, you can see that the titles are exactly the same. Instant read, digital, electric, kitchen, cooking, barbecue, grill, food, meat, thermometer. Now most of these words are in the title of the item that we have chosen. The third item has instant read, meat thermometer, digital, LCD, cooking, barbecue, food, thermometer. As you can see, the word barbecue is repeating in the first three and even the fourth item. Food is also a repeating word, as well as the word meat. So if you go through it, you can understand that a digital thermometer are the main keywords that people are using, which makes sense because that is exactly the item that they are selling. So now that we've covered most of the repeating keywords and we actually found our item and we're now using AliExpress as our supplier, but I want to mention to you that sometimes when opening it up on eBay, AliExpress or even Amazon or any other supplier that you're using, it's a great idea to check out the other items that are selling as well and check out the titles for those items. 
sometimes where the words are located in a title makes a big difference. So here you can see this item. It says digital LCD oven thermometer kitchen. The item next to it says LCD digital thermometer meat barbecue and so on. And the item that we found starts with LCD digital thermometer meat. So that is an important thing to remember, the placing of each word. So when you're with your supplier, AliExpress, Amazon, or any other supplier you like to use, make sure to check out those titles as well. Because these people take time to build their titles. They invest money and do research to make the best titles. So now when searching for an item to speed up your process, it's very important when you are actually searching for your item to already be reading the titles and evaluating them, finding the keywords that keep repeating. And it's important you do this on the Zeek product list as well as eBay and with your supplier. This will speed up your process and when you do find an item that you wanna sell, you already know in the back of your mind what keywords are repeating, being used the most, and how they're placed in the title. So of course, when you find your item, when you read the titles, when you find it with your supplier, when you go into depth with a little bit more information about each product that you want to sell, the very next step is to actually build the title. And the easiest way to do that is to jump into the Zeek Analytics Title Builder, which is located right here on the left. Here in the Zeek Title Builder, you may choose your location. For this example, we will select all locations. You can do your sales date range from 30 days to 7 days. We usually stick to 30 days because it gives you more broad information than 7 days. You can always choose your marketplace from eBay to AliExpress and you may also exclude a phrase. Exclude phrase means maybe you want to build a title using the word smartphone but you don't want any iPhones to show up in your title. So in exclude phrase, you would write iPhone. So what the Zeek Title Builder does, it automatically finds generic as well as long tail keywords for you. So now what we're going to do is in the search bar, type in the words that keep repeating on the Zeek product list and the keywords that actually describe the product that we are selling. So we're going to go ahead and type in digital meat thermometer. Now once we have those keywords, we're just gonna go ahead and click on enter and Zeek will automatically have a list of generic as well as long tail keywords for us to use. And not only that, it calculates all the average searches, competition and sales for each long tail keyword as well as generic keywords. So now here on the left side, we have the keywords you provided, which are the digital meat thermometer. You can see that there are over 28,000 average searches. There are 20 other dropshippers using these keywords in their title. And these keywords brought 433 sales in the last 30 days. Now below that are long tail keyword ideas. Here you can see instant read digital, food meat thermometer, read digital electronic. The competition is sometimes high and sometimes low. And of course you have the number of sales. Over on the right, we have the generic keyword ideas. Thermometer, meat, digital, cooking. Now if you remember generic keyword ideas are one to two words. Long tail keyword ideas are two or more words. Here for generic keyword ideas, we also have the average searches as well as the number of sales. Now you may also scroll down and go through each page. But for this example, we'll just stay on page one. When choosing long tail keyword ideas as well as generic keyword ideas, you wanna make sure that the competition is not high. And you also want to make sure that there are sales. Now, when you do find your long tail keyword ideas as well as generic keyword ideas, how to build your title is super easy. All you do is click on it and up here at the top, your title is being built automatically. So now that we have digital meat thermometer, we may go ahead and add other long tail keyword ideas 
or generic keyword ideas. As you can see, digital has over 2,000 sales, meat has over 2,000 sales, and thermometer has over 3,000 sales. We already have the first three generic keywords in our title. Now, if you remember from the information that we gathered from the item that we chose, our thermometer can be used indoors as well as outdoors. So let's go ahead and select digital electronic kitchen. And now because we have digital meat thermometer, we can go ahead and easily delete the other digital word in the title. But our digital thermometer is an LCD. And you can see here, digital LCD cooking. You may go ahead and click on that and it will add it up in the top. Now again, because we already do have the word digital, we can go ahead and delete it and make some changes to this LCD by making all the other letters capital. And if you remember, the word grill was used often in all the other products as well as our product. So we can go ahead and click on the word grill. And if you remember, we did have a probe, so we can go ahead and click on that as well. So we just now built our title, Digital Meat Thermometer Electric Kitchen LCD Cooking Grill Probe. Now it's a super easy step. All you do is select everything, copy, and paste it to the item that you are going to upload to eBay. So again, it's important that the competition is low when choosing long tail keywords. The sales are high, and of course, you want a higher number when it comes to average searches. But the most important thing is to know the product that you are selling, and that way you can build your title with ease.